Hey guys, happy Friday. It's Friday for me. Uh, we've had a heck of a run of deals here. We actually got six new properties under contract in a matter of three weeks. So that's definitely a new record for us. So that's all good stuff. But there's one deal here in particular that I wanted to tell you about. So uh, sometimes it's not price that actually gets you the deal. Um, in this case, this is a contract for a, a house that we're buying in Raytown. And uh, this was a little bit of a unique situation. So the guy that owned the house uh, needed some work. It wasn't awful, but it was, you know, needed enough work that it would be hard for him to go sell it conventionally. And uh, the guy didn't have the time or didn't want to spend the money um, to rehab it. Uh, he was pre-approved with a contingent offer uh, so that he could, which means that he would have to sell his current house to be able to buy another one. He was pre-approved to go buy another house. And, uh, and he was actively looking so the issue for him was well he wanted to sell his house but he wasn't sure you know he needed some extra time to be able to move out to get the new house under contract and things like that so we came up with kind of a creative solution um, on this contract to help him out so there's a couple things that we did different here one of them i would not normally do this but in this case um, it's worth risking a little bit of cash uh, to get the deal so we actually are going to pay the earnest money deposit directly to the seller um, he actually found a house and he's under contract with it and uh, he's a little bit short on cash until we buy his house and uh, we actually pay that to him in cash so that he would have some extra money so he could go put the deposit down on his new house and uh, the other thing that we did here is so we gave him 60 days to move out um, in the contract now the problem with that, and why most people probably wouldn't do that, is and that puts a lot of risk on us. So what happens if, you know, the guy pays stays after his 60 days and uh, and doesn't move out? Then obviously we have a risk. We're paying, you know, paying holding costs on a house, and now we have to evict the old owner. That's not something that we want to do. So we came up with kind of a creative solution. So what we actually did is we're holding back a chunk of his money in escrow so we we wrote in a clause in this contract and uh, we're holding back a chunk of money in escrow and we basically wrote it so that he's given 60 days after a 60 day period he's getting charged a thousand bucks a month in rent so if he fails to vacate the property after 60 days then uh, basically a thousand dollars a month comes out of that chunk of money sitting in escrow and he doesn't get that additional money until he is actually uh, vacated the house and uh, and cleared out so we also put a clause in there that the house needs to be clear of all his personal belongings etc etc so uh, you know we've been working with this particular seller for about three months we've been in conversation on and off and we finally got a contract signed and it's looking like the deal is going to go through he's got a new house identified that he's under contract on so uh, pretty good success story and it's just uh, a good example of sometimes you need to get creative and uh, just doing the normal you know the normal two-week close isn't enough you got to think outside the box to get a deal done so thought that was a pretty good one wanted to share with you guys so thanks bye